So here we go for the first meeting between the clubs since the Scottish Cup final last May. Rangers have just five of their starting lineup from that day. United have eight of their players available. And in comes Bowley early on, sliding into the challenge there as Andy McLaren tries to get forward. And then that throw in goes Rangers' way. So another big crowd here at Highbrook Stadium. The capacity these days 46,800. Uh, just a few empty seats behind Andy Gorham's goal, which uh, were designated to Dundee United. And referee stepping in again, free kick, and uh, young Charlie Miller, who's come into the Rangers side this afternoon. He started a couple of games last season. He was in the losing side uh, on both occasions, so he'll be hoping to do better this time around. This is McLaren for United, floating in. Bowman coming in on the far side, but Mikhailachenko there wearing the number eight. He's watching the ball carefully as it goes out of play. So Alex Mikhailachenko coming back into the fold. He's had uh, various injury problems. Uh, he was on the bench for the Scottish Cup final and came on that day. Now 31 years of age and uh, Rangers still feel he has a contribution to make here. Through now for Loudrup. Loudrup and carefully watched by Gary Bowen. And swept away there as Miller threatened. It was Malpass who got the vital touch for United. This is Goff. And the free kick awarded against Brewster. Wasn't a great cross by Brian Loudrup there, Jerry, but the, I think the thing that Ivan Golai won't be happy about is the gaps in defence. The ball almost came right through the front post area. Charlie Miller almost sneaked a, a good start from himself in Rangers there. Well, pass through to Brewster, it's closed down by Goff. It's Goff again with the challenge on McLaren. Played off by McCall. Played through by Miller to Hatley. Loudrup away to the left. Good pass through to Loudrup. He needs some support here. Still it's Loudrup. And the ball knocked behind by Patrick. But meanwhile, Charlie Miller appeared to be impeded as he began to run. As Loudrup was breaking on the left, Miller was going through the centre and... Uh, seem to have the feet taken away from him, and that's why the Rangers fans are so unhappy. Quite right to be unhappy, Jerry. We have obviously the benefit of seeing the whole pitch from up here. Billy McKinley certainly impeded Charlie Miller, unable to get into the box. This is Moore. And uh, well, a slack pass by the Rangers player. As he tried to find Loudrup. It's away by Bowen. This is Bowman, Brewster, Petru now looking for Daly. In comes Bowman again, but uh, Bowley challenges, is picked up by Christian Daly. And a uh, misplaced pass by him, and the move breaks down for United, and Andy Gorham shows plenty of confidence, taking on McLaren. A uh, real chance on there for United, but a uh, slight pass in the end, and it all fell apart for them. Uh, good skills by uh, Andy Gorham, a player whose confidence is extremely high. Hatley's in the middle, being watched by Welsh. McCall's arriving. Moore's making a good break in the right-hand side. He's well picked out. Swings in the cross, looking for Hatley. It goes as far as Mikhailachenko. This is Miller. Tenko Bart, but the referee waves play on. It was Bowman who challenged him. Rangers have it again, they're through Miller. Almost through there to Loudrup, but it's away by Bowen initially. This is Moore. They've been away though to Christian Daly. It's McAnally to Brewster. And McLaren has popped up on the right hand side now. A really hopeful ball floated in by him. It's McPherson looking for Hatley. Welsh makes the challenge. Rangers have it again. They're through McCall. Hatley's onside. Well, the Dundee United defenders looking out angrily towards the main stand linesman. But uh, no flag went up there as Hatley broke through. 
the ball was just spinning away off of, off of Mark's leg there, wasn't, didn't come perfectly the way he wanted it to, and just his touch let him down a little bit and made it a little more easier for Alan Main and possibly what he could have done. It's Hitley's touch. Away by Petrich. Now it's Goff. Mikhailichenko. McCall playing it through, looking for Robertson, who's gone another good run. But, uh, it's a header from Petrich, but it's picked up by Mikhailichenko. Miller finds Robertson, and Main makes the save. Nice little touch there from Charlie Miller, uh, finding David Robertson. The challenger ball in from Mikhailichenko, good header from Charlie Miller. Unlucky by David Robertson there, did the best he could, got the ball on target, but never really troubled Alan Main. Nice little touch there by Lodrop, picked up by Mikhailichenko. Moves a lot of space on the far side, still it's Mikhailichenko taking on Petric, driving it through. That ball still in play. And the save from Miller. Alan Main doing well, under a lot of pressure. And that brings the Rangers crowd to life. Mikhailichenko getting in the ball. Main managed to get a touch to it. Just kept in play then by Moore and the shot from Miller. Great handling by Alan Main. Pleased for him. Get a good start in the game after the midweek exploits. And the referee steps in and awards the free kick. And perhaps there might have been a bit of advantage. So Goff moves forward, so too does Bully into the United penalty area. It will be Loudrup. To strike this one. This is Miller. He's certainly seen plenty of the action. Good play by Miller. Forcing the play forward. And that draws applause for the 18 year old who's making a real impact in this game. Signed just a couple of years ago from the Rangers Boys Club. Does really well. I mean, he's in the. Walter knows exactly what he can do. He's not in it just because of the injuries or whatever. No, he's there on merit. It's a big chance for him, and he's certainly grabbing it at the moment with both hands. Good confidence start by the young man. Kalachenko wins the free kick, takes it quickly. This is Loudrop. Good running by Hitley! Well, it was magnificent movement by Heatley, getting himself into the position, and Loudrop struck it through, and Loudrop just knocking the ball into that space, Heatley realising it was going there, good running by him, and uh, a fine effort by the Rangers striker. Best thing from that, Jerry, was that apart from the ball through from Brian Loudrop, was the, uh, the time that Mark Heatley waited for the, just for the gap to appear so he could run into it, unlucky with his curling shot. That's been such a feature of uh, Loudrop's play since he arrived, you're playing the ball into these areas, and... Uh, Italy is certainly one who responds. I think getting that, some kind of coordination between each other now, knowing that the ball will, that will be played through, Mark just holding his run. That's Mikhailichenko to McCall, brilliant double by McCall, denied by the goalkeeper. This is Charlie Miller, and it's away by Bolin. This is Robertson, Mikhailichenko. That's Bowman for United, through for Daly, who's quickly closed down by Goff. Bully provides the pass. Well, again, Mikhailichenko wins the ball in the air. But uh, United have it, it's Welsh. A shot with that one, Moore responds, getting in just ahead of Malpass, now it's Loudrop. This could spell trouble for Dundee United. Uh, just too many players there for Loudrop, but the uh, Rangers have it again. It's Miller finding Hatley onto the left foot. Oh, magnificent goal by Hatley! A superb goal by Mark Hatley with 24 minutes gone. It's Rangers 1, Dundee United 0, and Mark Hatley's eighth goal of the season. Certainly can't say it hasn't been coming. Rangers really on top the last five or ten minutes. have threatened to do this. Big Mark catches on to a loose ball. Touch inside and a great left foot driver into the near corner. Great goal for Mark Haley. Rangers certainly deserve every bit of that. 
Superb finishing onto his favourite foot. And just beating the keeper in it is near post. So meanwhile, Alan Main has taken it up on the far side of the field. Well, he's had a few good saves in this match, but to do little about Hitley's goal. He was uh, heavily criticised uh, during the week for the loss of uh, goals in Europe, but uh, certainly in the case of the first one, he was a bit unlucky, but uh, he would put his hand up for the second one. So, Alan Main was unable to continue. And Henrik Jorgensen will replace him. It's played through by Bolin for Daly. Always with him. Done that three or four times today, Jerry. No heroics. Just gets the ball out, gets back into position. Rangers regroup again. This time it's Rangers ball. Craig Moore there. We're seeing earlier very much a, a fixture in this team now. And he just hits the return to McPherson. Welsh caught in two minds, and it's Hadley who pounces. Loud drops in the middle, so too is Miller. Michaela Chenko's coming through on the far side, but the chance is lost. But uh, Welsh caught in two minds there. Hadley pounced. He did have options, and uh, Rangers really should have had something out of that. Uh, this is Goff now for Rangers. Takes a return from Robertson. Pass a bit short, but uh, got him with plenty of time. This is Welsh. Again, Welsh running into trouble. It's Loudrup. And Jorgensen makes a marvellous save. Well, that's the second time that Wells have been caught dithering in this first half. And that really could have finished off United in injury time. Well, Wells has played so well this season, causing all kinds of problems for himself and his team. But he gets away with that win, and Loudrup really knows he should have struck there. But Rangers leading through Mark Hately who scored after 24 minutes, getting the ball onto his favourite left foot and sending the ball into the back of the net. For half-time score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 1, Dundee United 0. Well, Hatley and Loudrup, uh, along with McCall, start the second half for Rangers. And just a quick look round shows no further changes on either side. Uh, Jorgensen coming on for Main in goal for United in the first half after Main's injury. Uh, no further changes. This is uh, McCall for Rangers to Robertson. McCall again. Well, of course, uh, Dundee United, the side which stopped Rangers achieving a historic back-to-back -back trebles by uh, winning the Scottish Cup last May. And Rangers out for revenge this afternoon, but uh, meanwhile, an early free kick awarded to United. Played through by Petric. Rooster climbs for it, but uh, Bully was with him all the way. It's played through by Billy McKinley. Goff's header. McCall's under pressure from McKinley, who does well. This is McLaren looking for Daly, but it's cut out by Robertson. Rangers played so well in the first half an hour of the game, Jerry. I'm sure they'll want to keep the tempo up. The game died certainly a little bit towards the end of the first half until Brian Loudrup almost increased Rangers' lead. I'm sure they'll want the same start to this half as they did the first. This is McKinley looking for Daly. Now it's Brewster. It's away by Moore. So Gary Bolin, who steps in for United, is going to try the shot. Here it's a good one. Well, from well out. And he certainly struck it well, but uh, eventually it spun away from... Gorham's left-hand post, but uh, certainly hit with plenty of power, but uh, Andy Gorham confident all the way. Long one by Petric. 
Daly loses out to McPherson. That's Loudrup. Good play by Loudrup. Good running by McPherson. Mal passes with him. Swings in the cross. And it's Bowman almost giving it away to Mikhailichenko. Well, Bowman attempting to chest the ball down, and uh, he was just made life difficult for himself as Mikhailichenko came in. And a free kick against Welsh for his challenge on Hatley. So it's Basil Bully who guards the back door there as uh, Goff prepares to take this kick. And, uh, we're not seeing too much of Bully in forward position today. He was very attack-minded in his earlier games, but uh, here's a chance on now for Miller. And that takes a deflection for the corner. Well struck by Miller. And uh, Rangers have the corner. And now uh, Bolly moves forward to the edge of the box. But another good strike by the youngster. Deflected behind. It's Loudrup to take it. It's Welsh. Picked up now by David Robertson. So it's Robertson. And uh, putting that one forward with the left foot, but uh, causing no real problem. Still looking for his first goal of the season is David Robertson. He'll uh, celebrate his 26th birthday next month and uh, a player who's become very much a fixture in the Rangers side over the past few seasons. It's a Bully's challenge and uh, United have the throw. This is Daly. by Malpass, but uh, cut out by McCall. Good passing move by Rangers. Moore at the heart of it, through to Miller. This is for Loudrop. There's a fine pass by Miller. Loudrop goes down, it's a penalty. Loudrop challenged there by Gary Bolin. What a delightful ball it was by Charlie Miller. In fact, a sweeping move all the way by Rangers from a very tight position. Moore got it through to Miller. And his pass through to Loudrup, a little bit of acceleration there. And down he went. Penalty kick, a chance for Mark Hatley to add to his total. So Hatley carefully placing the ball. Henrik Jorgensen looks on. It's Hatley. Oh, a fine save by the goalkeeper. Well, that's twice Jorgensen has denied Rangers is coming on. And United still very much in this game. I think they have well been dead and buried. Brewster. Daly again. Well, United still in this match, and they know they're lucky to be in such a situation. Here's a substitute. Jim and Nixon trying to get forward. It's McKinley. It's watched carefully by Gorham. All of a sudden, did the United know they still have a chance to take something of the game? Really, you know, if they should be dead and buried out of the game. And yet Rangers hanging on a little bit in this period to get a one-goal advantage. And it's Craig Moore who makes the tackle there to concede the throw-in. Taken by McAnally to Nixon. McAnally again. Brewster climbs for that one, Welsh is well forward. Well, Christian Daly it was who hit the shot, it, it ricochets, and it's cleared by Mikhail Ichenko. Rangers have the throw, the ball coming off, Billy McKinley. And actually knocks out there, shouting instructions to his players. This is Robertson. Well, it's always a chance one as they try to find Bolly. This is Nixon trying to find a way through. Breaks to Christian Daly. 
It's Billy McKinley, and it's blocked. But that all began with that rather ambitious pass from David Robertson. And uh, put the defence in trouble. And that, that's the kind of pass that has actually cost Rangers very dearly in Europe in recent seasons. I remember the one he made in Marseille. And then it uh, happened again in this particular season against Ike Athens. So Walter Smith has gone down to the dugout and uh, Rangers will ring the changes, both uh, substitutes getting ready to come on. The manager's obviously unhappy as he strolls back up to the stand. And a uh, loud up foul this time by McKinley. And Rangers will now make a double substitution. So Mikhailachenko leaves the field and so too does Miller. And on will come Neil Murray and Ellie McCoy. So applause for the young player who's done so well. And huge applause, most of it for that man there, Ali McCoy, who is sitting on 299 competitive first-team goals for Rangers. He was injured in the first day of the season against Motherwell. Well, if he could put this one beyond doubt and get goal number 300, it would be the perfect afternoon for Rangers. Certainly, they've missed his touches about the penalty area. And here is McCoy. Providing the cross, Haitley's in there. And the goalkeeper just getting the merest touch to that one, I think. The referee pointing out towards the corner flag. Well, McCoy's making an immediate impact, swinging in the cross. Haitley got the touch. In fact, it came off the defender. It was Welsh who made the challenge. Loudrup. McCoy. McCall. And McCall slipping as he went forward to make contact with the ball. But McCoy certainly looking lively, linking the air with Loudrup. Nice little touch uh, by McCoy. It broke away then to McCall, who slipped at the vital moment. Stuart McCall with uh, just the one goal so far this season. But, uh, always lurking on the edge of the penalty area, looking for the opportunity. This is Christian Daly, losing out to Robertson. Now it's Loudrup. Robertson races away ahead of him. Good running by Robertson. And Haitley put a chance for the big striker. Well, he got the opening goal in splendid fashion, but he's uh, since missed a penalty. That's another opportunity for him. Well, Rangers still leading by just that one goal. United sense they are still in with a chance here as long as the scoreline remains as it is. So true by McAnally. Again, looking for Nixon. This time it's McPherson. And Moore. Here's Nixon again. Nixon against Bolly. Still it's Nixon. Oh, what a tremendous effort by the United player. And that really could have put Rangers in all kinds of trouble. Tremendous strike, just clipping the top of the crossbar. Well, Jerry, we saw him do it against Aberdeen. He came on for the United and caused him all sorts of problems. And he almost just did it there. Twinkled toes in the, in the box. Shot was very unlucky off the bar. Certainly had Andy Gorham beaten. Well, it's so effective coming on as a substitute. Uh, we saw it against Celtic at Hamden in the second week of the season. And as you say, he came on and uh, really switched United on uh, against Aberdeen. And here's Goff in trouble, and it's Brewster! Well, an amazing miss by the man who scored the cup final winner. Well, the defensive errors in this match, there have been so many of them. Richard Goff it was this time, and Brewster really should have put that one away. Richard's very short with the pass back. I mean, he only needs to hit the target. Andy Gorham's committed himself. And you see, Richard's very short with Craig gets in front of him. Andy but commits himself completely. Oh, boy, what a miss that is. Bowen. This is the substitute to Bank Johnson. That's Nixon, McKinley. Daly, McKinley again. Well, Murray dithers a bit there. This is Haitley, down the line for Loudrup, that's a good ball, Petrich comes across. 
It's Loudrup into the penalty area. And Malpass remains calm as Ali McCoy's arrived. There's Heatley! And the goalkeeper gathers that one, a difficult one off the wet surface. He gathers it at the second attempt. Great run by Brian Loudrup, takes on Petrich. Well defended, the ball drops to Mark Heatley. Good shot, goalkeeper does everything, he gets his body behind the ball rather. Saves the day for the D-United. It's Welsh climbing above Heatley, now it's McKinley. He's just possessed though by McCall. It's through for McCoy. Good play by McCoy, and he tries to curl that one round the goalkeeper. Well, he tried just a picky spot there down at the far post. Great play by McCoy. The ball played through by McCall. He took on the defender really well and just tried to pick his spot there. The Rangers don't pick up the three points this afternoon. There'll be a real inquest in the dressing room, but United still very much alive and kicking. And that one eventually swept away by Goff. It was Murray who failed to clear in the first place. There he is digging in hard against uh, Bowen. This is Murray. Loudrup, he's got McCoy, he's got Hatley away on the right. He decides to go at the lone, brilliant play by Loudrup! Oh, a magnificent goal! A magnificent goal by Loudrup! And with three minutes left, that puts it beyond any doubt. Absolute brilliance from Loudrup, who gets his third goal for Rangers. And the scenes all around, they stand here, tell the story. He stepped away. From Petrich, he had Hatley away to his right, but he finished off himself, an explosive shot into the roof of the net. It's Rangers 2, Dundee United 0. People are getting fed up with me telling you how good a player Brian Loudrup is. I don't like to say I told you so. He had a pass on to Mark Hatley, didn't need to use him. Walked past the Dundee United defender, absolutely smashed it high into the net. And now Rangers can breathe a large sigh of relief, as I think the three points will be staying here at Ibrox this afternoon. Great goal by Brian Lodge up there. McCall. Robertson runs in support. McCall sending it through now to Robertson. Can Rangers get a third? Well, Hitley coming close. Great play from Stuart McCall here. Mark Hitley, you can't see him in the picture, has already got his arms out before David Robertson passes the ball to him. Unfortunately, a little bit too much off target there. Uh, Bowie's header. It's Bowie again. Played through by McPherson. This is Murray for Rangers, who does well. Finds McCall. Robertson, who's got Loudrup wide. Still it's Robertson, though. Well, they all want to go it alone. It's Robertson trying the shot, but uh, well wide of target. And there, in fact, goes the final whistle. Applause rings around Ibrook Stadium. There's no doubt uh, they'll all be talking about this man tonight with just three minutes left, picking up the ball, charging forward at the Dundee United defence. He had options open to him, but stepped away from the defender and sent an explosive shot high into the net. The final score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 2, Dundee United 0.